In the previous video, we learned some advanced search techniques using the clause, morph, and milestone searches. This video introduces you to the syntax search and how to incorporate Logos datasets into a search. The syntax search tool gives you the ability to conduct detailed or complex searches based on structural elements in the text. What makes syntax searches so powerful is the ability to locate and study how individual words function in scripture, as well as researching syntactical constructions involving phrases or clauses throughout the Bible. This video demonstrates how to do searches in the Greek New Testament, but the principles apply to the syntax searches in the Hebrew Bible as well. As Jesus announced the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy, Luke tells us everyone in the synagogue marveled at the gracious words that were coming from his mouth. Gracious translates the genitive keratos. A morph search locates all these morphological constructions, but a syntax search finds the places charis functions as an adjective. Open a new search panel and select the Syntax tab. Click the drop-down arrow next to Query to view a list of available syntax search templates. Notice you can search both Greek and English constructions. Select Adjectival Function and enter Charis in the search box. You'll see all the occurrences of Charis where Logos has identified the Adjectival Function. Click Add Versions to display an English Bible next to the original language version. You can also build your own syntax searches from scratch. This pericope is mostly made up of complex sentences and a fair amount of overspecification. However, at the height of the conflict, Luke concludes with a very simple sentence. But passing through their midst, he went away. The conflict seems to evaporate with very little detail. Luke uses a common verb, peruamai, to describe Jesus' exit. But how common is this sentence structure? A syntax search can help us examine other constructions using peruamai. In the Query drop-down menu, select New Syntax Search and give your document a unique name. Click Add Search Terms here to get started. The easiest way to build a syntax search is to mimic the construction of the Cascadia syntax graphs. This is a verbal clause, so select Clause and check Verbal Clause. The next element is a term functioning as the subject, so select Clause Function and check Subject. We are primarily interested in the order of Subject, Adverb, Verb, but don't want to be overly narrow, so we'll allow anything to come after the subject. Add a clause function that is adverbial, followed by anything, and a clause function that is verbal. Add a phrase and check verbal, then scroll down and enter the verb, then click search. If you want to view these results in a Bible and the syntax graphs together, create a link set with the two resources. You can see that this construction is not common with the verb peruamai. In Luke 13.33, Luke uses this construction to address Jesus' necessity of going to Jerusalem to die. And in 22.22, he uses the construction again to address the predetermined nature of Jesus' death. This raises the question about the brevity of the sentence in our initial passage. Could Luke use this simple sentence to build tension rather than relieve the conflict? As we continue to read Luke's gospel, we learn the necessity of Jesus' death, but his death comes on his timetable and location, not the whims of the crowd. A further way to expand your search is by using data sets. These are collections of information that have been tagged and grouped together into a single searchable unit. The context menu provides the building blocks for searching Logos datasets. In the video about visual filters, we looked at the Lexham Discourse Greek New Testament. You are able to search these features from the context menu. Notice that verse 22 is labeled with overspecification. You can search for other occurrences of this feature from the context menu. Select the Discourse label in the left-hand column and click Search Bible in the right-hand column to launch the search. 
Luke 24 records another encounter with Jesus discussing the Hebrew scriptures. Once again, Jesus brings up the theme of fulfillment and offices, this time translated as forgiveness. Even the inclusion of the Gentiles is present. However, this time, Jesus opens their minds to understand the scriptures. You can also search for information within a data set, such as the conflict preaching theme data set. Open the context menu, select preaching theme in the left column, and click search Bible in the right hand column to launch the search. You can refine this search by limiting it to Luke and only the pericopes where Jesus is involved in the conflict. Add open angle bracket, person Jesus, closed angle bracket, intersects, to the beginning of the search string and press enter. This identifies Jesus' presentation at the temple when he was just eight days old. Simeon prophesied, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is opposed. Clearly, that prophecy is being fulfilled in Nazareth. This introduction to the syntax search and data set searches illustrates the in-depth capability of Logos and yields insightful results with continued practice. To learn more about the syntax search, visit support.logos.com and enter syntax search. In the next video, you'll learn how to interact further with datasets in Logos using the Bible browser tool.